or you can refer to the smart lock instead. Uh, you stop notifying me. Let's put the. Uh... Hi, I'm Matt, and this is Not Enough Tech. There's a massive discussion online always about charging your phone and the uh, um, negative effect it has on your battery. It's established that quick charging does have a, a negative effect on the battery because uh, the speed of charge and the amount of amps you're actually pushing into battery can degrade the battery quicker. Now the same applies to prolonged charging and uh, let's face it, most of us will plug in our phones overnight to have the battery ready at 100% in the morning. While modern phones and modern batteries are pretty resilient to this phenomenon and they're not going to degrade as quick even if you're going to leave them charging overnight, it's not 100% healthy. So what could you do about it? In my previous video, I talked about Son of Micro. Go ahead and click on that if you want to learn more about Son of Micro. For, but for the purpose of this tutorial, this is a connected switch that you can control via HTTP requests and eWilink API. First, I'm going to show you how to use a new function in Tasker, reading raw data from sensors, to ident identify different charges. So you could identify which charge is placed in your bedroom or in your office. Now, this method doesn't require NFC and it will work probably with most of the charges. So uh, that's going to be one of the things we're going to take a look at. Second, I'm going to create a profile using a son of micro to actually prevent your phone from being plugged in throughout the night. If you have a wireless charger or a stand like this, you could use NFC sticker to detect which charger you are connected. However, with a stand or charger like this, this is not possible due to where the NFC is placed on the phone itself. Any sensor allows you to read the orientation data from your phone so you could discover when the phone is placed in a certain position. You could use that to identify your charger. To use it, search for gravity sensor and use it to identify the position of your mobile. Now select the first situation when the phone is uh, on the stand, then the second situation, and accuracy it's up to you. Uh, one, it's a good value and I found it uh, to be enough for this profile. Now save the profile and use that to trigger a variable change. This variable is going to be used in two other profiles to let the uh, charger know when it should be charging. When the phone is on the charger and the variable is set to on, it will trigger the top up option, providing the battery level is below, in this case, 90%. Now the profile will wait five seconds, then check again if the phone is still on the charger to prevent accidental positions, and then it will set my Node Red server and send the HTTP request to trigger a charging on. Now in that HTTP request, all you need is to fill URL and then provide a JSON for a body. That JSON is going to be used to translate and turn on and off Son of Micro. When the phone is fully charged, you want to disconnect this uh, Son of because obviously we want uh, the phone to stop charging and you do that in the exact same way. You wait five seconds, you double check if the phone is on the stand, you set the credentials and then you send a request to Node Red server, but this time the payload is different and it just says that the battery is charged. I would strongly recommend you to set a son of micro to be powered down on plugin. So when you plug in the cable, nothing will happen. Now, as soon as the phone is placed on a stand, it will send a request after five seconds to Node Red server and you'll see that the phone is charging. Charging will continue as normal until the device is fully charged. When the phone is at 100%, it will send a notification to Node Red after 5 seconds to turn the charging off, which you can see right now on the screen. If the device drops down to 90% of the battery, another charging cycle will start. I talked about eWilink API in use in this video here, so if you want to know more details, just click on it and you'll learn how to use it. It's very simple and you don't really have to do much about it. Now back to Node-RED. 
So when the Tusker is say, uh, sending HTTP, it hits this HTTP charger path, which uh, sends or submits a post. Now I've kept this as much visual as possible. So based on what kind of payload I've got in a payload.battery, either it's charged or uncharged, uh, I turn on or turn off my Sonoff micro. So I can achieve that by submitting a payload off or on. So obviously if the, the battery is topped up, I'm sending off. If the battery needs topping up, I'm sending on. And then I'm just using a device node in here with ID to um, toggle the device. That's pretty much everything. In here also I have a report from a battery. This is something I've used to monitor and see uh, how often I would have to re do that circle at night. And as it happened, I only needed to do it once. And this is how it looks like. Obviously, if you want to download all of this, it's available in the written form on uh, my website, notenoughtech.com, which is linked in the description of this video. So go ahead and click on that for more details. All right, guys, do let me know what do you think about it. Is it actually saving and protecting your battery or do you think that charging method will make it worse? I hope you'll learn a thing or two. The sum of uh, micro isn't that expensive. It's only six to seven dollars on IT at store which is linked in the description of this video so if you want to replicate this scenario just follow the tutorial written there will be download links for the profile itself as well as for now I do not have a posting schedule so if you follow me on the social media of your choice you're going to get a notification when the new content is out and it's worth doing so because not all of my content is uh, in a video format so if you just subscribe and use a YouTube notification system, you might miss out. Alright, thanks so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video. Take care!